It's my second visit to Chitwan, a beautiful national park in Nepal that's home to the magnificent rhino as well as many other animals and birds. This visit was special because I saw plenty of rhino who really is the star of this jungle and I got to see them up close and in all sorts of poses and movement. What made this visit special, apart from the rhinos, is my stay at the Barahi Jungle Lodge, which is a fabulous property located right on the banks of the Rapti River. So of course, lots of river safaris, but also just to get to the main safari, I have to take a boat across the river and get to the main forest, which is a wonderful experience. The cottages are pretty and super comfortable and most importantly have a little balcony that overlooks the river and it's just lovely to wake up to that gorgeous view. The property is beautiful and you can spend all your time exploring and relaxing or just enjoy the pool and the riverside but I like to get on a safari and it all starts with a lovely sunset river cruise and it is truly magnificent. I always find that a boat safari is so underrated because people don't realize how relaxing and beautiful that the river is. Um, also if you're lucky you'll be able to spot rhinos and some animals. You will see a lot of birds but you need to be really lucky to spot something special like this gorgeous karyal that we saw while we were on our cruise. So Barahi Jungle Lodge likes to pamper you a little and do things special so you won't actually go back to the hotel, you'll stop on your cruise halfway through to this lovely little sunset point to just enjoy a little sundowner with some wine and snacks and it's a beautiful view so you don't mind. We actually had this little honeymoon couple doing a photo shoot or a pre-wedding shoot which was quite fun to see but you can see why because it's beautiful, it's a confluence of two rivers and just the perfect spot for a sundowner. The mornings are beautiful in Chitwan and even though the morning safari starts a little late, I want to say around 7 o'clock, 6.30, maybe 7, it's just breathtaking to enjoy and watch the jungle or the area just sort of wake up um, with the sun, this magnificent color. Once again, a little morning safari, not really a safari, we're just crossing the river to get to the other side. It's nice and misty, it's beautiful, it's a wonderful way to start the day and then you just get on to your jeep and hope for the best, that you get the best sighting and just really enjoy the jungle. Barahi Jungle Lodge has expert naturalists that keep their eyes and ears open the whole time and it any given point are always showing you things that you just never seem to find on your own. There's really so much to see and appreciate in the jungle, but if you're really lucky, you will spot the king of all kings in this jungle. You will spot the rhino who is truly magnificent. I mean, when you see them up close and you realize how scaly they are or how big they are and also how stealth and fast they are, because I mean, these guys can move really fast. They're just fabulous. I mean, it is an experience unlike any other.
Now, usually you would do a morning safari and then an evening safari or either one, but this was a full day safari, a first for me. So we actually stopped and had lunch in the jungle, which is another fun experience. It's never really a big lavish lunch, but it's good and it's enough to get you going to continue with your trip. Now, I love spotting crocs in the jungle. I just find crocodiles fascinating. And we didn't even realize that while we were admiring the croc, this big guy was bathing in a corner. There you can see both of them in the same frame. And again, just another rhino sighting that was wonderful. Just watching him have a bath, play around, sort of drink a little water. I could watch these guys all day. I mean, they're just fabulous. Just when you've seen rhinos eating and then bathing, you think you've seen them all and then this fellow came out of nowhere and it doesn't look like much, but he is actually walking right up to my Jeep and then he sort of moves to the side and that's when I could really admire his body and just look at the depth and scale of this animal. And it just sort of reminds me of a prehistoric animal. I mean, they probably were. I have no idea. I just adore them. They're beautiful and he came so close and everyone was scared but I tell you it is just a thrill to have these animals come up close to you and not bother you and just go about doing their own thing completely unfazed by the jeeps. We were so excited with our rhino sighting. I mean, especially me, for me, this was a treat. We didn't get to see any tigers, unfortunately, though they have them in this jungle, but sadly not on our safari. And it's the end of the day and we're sort of walking back to catch our boat to cross the river and just calling it a day, but so, so happy with a stunning safari. So it's my last morning in Chitwan and I'm ending it with a lovely morning safari. We're not going into the jungle um, like we did at Jeep One. We're just going to do a morning boat safari and I couldn't have picked a better time to do this. It was just a stunning day. I mean, there was fog and mist all over the river. It was like a scene from a movie. I mean, this is gorgeous. I, I cannot even tell you how beautiful it was. I highly recommend you go. And then we got so lucky, as you can see here, we saw rhinos bathing. Like, how cool is that? And then of course, in true Barahi Jungle Lodge style, a little breakfast by our same spot where we had our sundanas. Very fancy and feels lovely. Just a great send off. So this was my trip. I had a great time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do subscribe to the channel, like this video and stay tuned for more.